two DF two twenty five minus point one nine eight carotene five point six, which is very low. CPO category minus that eight point five five eighty eight. Refractive index one point four five eighty eight. Cara six point three. Now percent percent FFA two point two. Then you can say Michael categorize the camera refined oil. Thank you, number three. Yeah. Then to look on TLS four. Dobby was mm, Dobby was one point eight seven. It's for PV, PV 2.9, absorbance at 269, 0 0.15, DF 3.574, carotene 482.2, which is very high, which coincides with the color which is not measurable, which is, it measures above 70, and then FFA percent 5.7. Then because I'm any crude. Ya kumi na tatu. Ah, kumi na tatu. Ukito wa lile. Eh, mabi ni mto. Eh, na kumi na mbili. Eh, kumi na tatu. Tuliku. Ya po kumi na mbili kwa upande huu. Eh, ndiyo tuchukua sampo. Moja liko na refined oil. Namba tatu. Ya. Na the rest ni crude. Ni kurote. Kumina moja. Kwa hiyo kumina moja ni kurote. Eh. Kumina moja ni kurote. Moja ni refined. 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 Mutu wa kia rae. Kurote huwa inachajua kia kia. Mwishu wa raisi. Kurote inachajua input duty 10%. That 18%. Natu. Mwishu wa raisi. Haya jalipiwa badu. Uh, wachukua na subiria ni hakuna muda maalumu wa kulipia lakini wao kwa nasubiria kulikuwa na dispute ya uh, kulikuwa na kutokubaliana kati ya viwango vya kodi ambavyo wanatakiwa walipie yote kwa nazungumzia kwamba mafuta yanaongeza nchini ni crude ya rai tukasema sio crude yote yeah. Moja ni refined. Ndiyo. Mwishimi wa raisi refined kwa full refined ni import duty 25% vat 18%. Kwa hiyo wa libi angani wafanya moja. Kwa hiyo mwishimi wa raisi wa libi angani. 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 Kwa hiyo mwishimi wa Naam, hiyo ndio ziara ya Rais Dr. Johnny Pombe Magufuli ambaye amefanya hapa bandarini jijini Dar es Salaam na kama unavyotazama ndugu mtazamaji ndo hivyo anahoji maswali kadha wa kadha na hii uh, ni eneo ambalo mafuta yanahifadhiwa na umemsikia akiwa anahoji maswala kadha wa kadha na moja ya vitu ambavyo tayari vimeanza kuonyesha ishara ama kubainika ni kwamba kuna baadhi ya mafuta yako refined na mengine ni crude oil lakini ndo hivyo mengine wako akisema kwamba yako ni crude oil na mengine wako akisema ni sio refined lakini ndo hivyo tunaendelea uh, kufuatilia hapa kuweza kuwa na taarifa kamili ya rais 
mara baada ya kuhitimisha uh, kufanya ziara yake na kufanya mahojiano kadha wa kadha ambayo bado yanaendelea. Endelea kwa nasi mtazamaji wa TBC 1 kutoka katika bandari hii ya jiji la Dar es Salaam ambako Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. John Bombe Magufuli amefanya ziara ya kushtukiza na hili ni eneo ambalo mafuta yanahifadhiwa na masuala kadha wa kadha yanaulizwa hapa kwa namna ambavyo unaweza kutazama ndugu mtazamaji That's where we are at the moment, and the figures that I gave you earlier, uh, Mr. President, um, include both sides on the crude palm oil, the refined oil, and the uh, steering. Here it was depot of vegetable oil terminal, VOT. To refine ya, to go to Uku, vote one, vote two. Tulichukua sample uh, tare when was on Saturday Saturday tare 12 yeah tulichukua so te hizi tumechukua siku moja yeah. tulichukua sample tulichukua sample tatu tatu kila container ya lita moja moja ma container ya ruku ama tank ya ruku 13 kuanzia tank namba moja kama yanavyosomeka kwenye tank na tukazifanyia uchunguzi vile vile tumefanya uchunguzi kwa kuangalia ile ya kutoa so, tofauti ambayo inaitwa dobi kufanya pv tukafanya absorbance tukakalculate df tukafanya carotene cpo category refractive index kara na percentage ya free fatty acid. Kwenye matokeo yetu tank namba moja ambayo inaitwa vote 1 tume lisema ni refined styrene and mafuta ma ya sabuni. Kwa hiyo ni refined. Ndio. Sijui sisi tulisema refined Mm. Vote namba mbili hivyo hivyo ilionyesha refined star. Vote namba tatu tulisema nayo ni refined star. Vote namba nne tumesema ni refined oil. Oil. Vote namba tano tumesema ni refined styrene refined styrene uh, styrene uh, vote namba sita ni crude uh, vote namba saba ni crude vote namba nane ni crude vote namba tisa ni crude vote namba kumi ni crude vote namba kumi na moja ni crude vote namba kumi na mbili ni refined oil vote namba kumi na tatu ni crude kwa hiyo kwa saba kwa hiyo kwenye four dot ni ngapi ambao ni refined refined oil ni mbili crude ya kusaba The refined oil in number four is 
destined for Burundi. It, okay. Mheshimiwa Rais hapa leo tukana kuwa crude ni matano lakini saba ni refined kwa maana hiyo kati ya saba mawili ni refined oil eh, matano ni refined strain Emi, kwa ajili ya sabuni yes yeah. We have, um, if you would like to show you where we dump the oil from, uh, but it's just a loading gap. We have it over there. We have one sample of 25. 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 tatizo ilikuwa mheshimiwa rais ni declaration importers walisema wameingiza mafuta yote ni crude lakini tukawa sisi tuko suspicious tuko na wasiwasi kwamba iwezekana mzuku kwa wote ni crude na kweli matokeo yamekuja kuonyesha kwamba kweli yapo ya crude lakini yapo na mengine ambayo waliaficha wakiwasema kweli ni refined na kwa maana hiyo kwa mafuta ambayo refined ina maana wana haki ya kulipa 25 kwa 18 na kwa hizo roma tio kwa mfano hizo refined sterling kwa ajili ya kutengeneza sabuni importute 10 vat 18 kwa haya waliodanganya sheria zitachukua mkondo wake kwa haya ambao declaration yao imetulia haina matatizo yote watatendewa haki mzigo wao wakishalipa wanaochukua ndio mheshimiwa Yeah. Sisi tumekuja hapa tumechukua sample siku moja tumepitia tulikuwa watu sisi tumetoka TBS tumecompose tumekuwa na watu mbalimbali mbali, lakini tumeongeza na wataalamu wengine kwa sababu ili kuchunguza tatizo ile ambalo umefanya mafuta sasa ya stock baada ya kupata hili tatizo kwa hiyo tulivyoagizwa tumechukua sample kutoka kwenye kila tanki sampo tatu na kuziweka pembeni kwa kuzungukia hizi 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 haya matanki yote yaliyoko hapa kwa hiyo baada ya kutoka hapa tumepeleka sampo hizi kwenye lab maabara tukazifanyia uchunguzi wa kimaabara kwenye kila sampo tulikuwa tunatoa sampo tatu tumezifanyia uchunguzi kwenye vigezo vile vyote tulivyokuwa tume tume list kwenye ripoti yetu na baada bila kujua kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa hatujui huku kuna nini huku kuna nini ndio tumekaa map na hii sasa labda watu eleze ndio ndio tuifanya kazi kwa hiyo tukapima vi e, parameters zote hizi vigezo vyote na kuweka category ya kila tanki lina nini kama tulivyowasilisha mheshimiwa rais kwa hiyo kwa mfano hapa tumeona kuna sterling refined kuna oil refined kuna crude tegemea na vigezo ambavyo vipo kwa hiyo wanafikiri watakubaliana na sisi kama wana, wanaona kuna kipingamizi kwenye risasi zote naweza katuambia kwa sababu sisi hatukujua tukua na ripoti yao kwa hiyo tumepima ila tumejiongeza zaidi kwa sababu kawaida kulikuwa kuna pimo kala na fati acid. Sisi tukasema hapana. Tutaenda mpaka kwenye vigezo vingine za kuchambua haya mafuta. Na ndo tumekuja na hii ripoti yetu kama inavyoonekana hapa. Kama tulivyowasilisha kwako. Labda pengine mheshimiwa rais kama tutahitaji kupata maelezo yao 
Pengine haya matenki sita sasa maana crude amekutwa ni saba kati ya 13 kwa hiyo kuna sita ambayo wao wali declare kama ni crude lakini results zimeonyesha kwamba zingine ni refined strain na zile ni refined oil nafikiri pale ndio kumekuwa na tofauti ya wao walivyokuwa wanasema na kilichopatikana Mheshimiwa Rais Majibu ni kama walivyotoa wataalamu mimi advise yangu kwa sababu nahitaji mafuta sokoni hawa yale mafuta ambayo yameonyeshwa ni crude mwende mlipie crude na mlionekana ni meupe ni refined mwende mlipie refined na mtapewa maelezo mengine kama mli declare otherwise alafu mzigo uwe processed uende eh, sokoni how soon you will start delivering to the market what i would like to say is um, there is refined in our depot we have never said there isn't refined in our depot it came off the ship last week it's fully declared as refined and we have got the documents we have got clearance from TRA yesterday out 3000 tons of refined oil which we have allowed to discharge into our various clients the rbd steering is a raw material for soap and we are waiting for releases for that to discharge all our goods when we get full releases of everything vot and tls will work night and day to ensure that oil goes to our clients so that they can process all this oil na mtazamaji wa TBC hayo ni maelezo kadha wa kadha ambayo natolewa na wataalamu hapa tumsikilize rais sasa nimesoma hii ripoti nime nimesoma hii ripoti of course katika process hizo zote ya kutengeneza mafuta ukitaka kutengeneza mafuta yoyote kwanza mafuta huwa yanatokea kwenye crude yawe mafuta ya mawese, yawe mafuta ya pamba, yawe mafuta ya karanga, yawe mafuta ya nini? Lazima pawe na crude. Na crude normally huwa ina free fatty acid. Na content ya free fatty acid kwenye crude yoyote huwa kati ya 5 mpaka 10%. It can be above. It depends with the concentration of the free fatty acids. Yakishatoka kwenye crude. Ukishafanya process yoyote ukaiweka wanaita neutralization process ambapo una, una add caustic soda au sodium hydroxide concentrated maana yake process ile unafanya neutralization unapofanya neutralization maana yake unatoka kwenye crude oil unakwenda either kwenye semi refined oil ukifanya process nyingine unaweza ukafanya breaching process ambayo you change the color of the oil unaweza ukatoka kwenye process hiyo ukaenda kwenye process inaitwa you change the, the other wanaita nani odorizations the odorization is the process ambayo you continue to remove ile free fatty acid pamoja na vapor elements na zile free fatty acid ni zile zenye long chain na madabolo na madabolo bonds yake una separate sasa ukishafanya neutralize process na mafuta mengi ya Tanzania ni semi neutralized process maana yake unatengeneza semi refined oil viwanda vingi vya Tanzania ni semi refined palikuwa na viwanda kama vitatu tu ambavyo vilikuwa vinatengeneza double refined ilikuwa new era and zile voir na moproko zingine zote ma viwanda mengi ni semi refined ukishaenda kwenye double refined maana yake unafanya zile breaching pamoja na deodorization process sasa problem tulionayo katika mafuta yetu crude inachajiwa 10% semi refined na inachajiwa 10% na kwa bahati mbaya ile semi refined imeandikwa kwa majina matatu nafikiri ni katika kuwadanganya wananchi wanazungumza semi refined au neutralized crude au palm oil lakini zote actually maneno yake ni semi refined na inachajiwa 10% sasa unakuta crude inachajiwa 10% na ile ambayo imefanyiziwa process na inachajiwa 10% ile double refined ni inachajiwa 25% kwa hiyo walichokuwa wanafanya which is simple 
unachukua semi refined unachukua double refined unachukua na crude unazimix alafu unaweka kwenye madebe unawauzia waraji na kikubwa ambacho kimepatikana kwenye mafuta huko na ndio maana niliamua kuwatuma watu kwenda kufanya analysis yote ya mafuta yote wamekuja hawa kina profesa Mtwasaeja na madokta wengine kutoka chuo kikuu TBS mkurugenzi wa TBS yuko hapa ni engineer na wataalamu wake mkemia mkuu dokta Mafumiko yuko hapa pamoja na wataalamu wake wakafanya analysis bila wao kuwa coordinated ili kusudi to compare results zikoje wameleta results zote zimekuwa reflected hapa na katika results zao na ndio maana ninaziangalia hapa vizuri katika depo ya vegetable oil nafikiri ndio hii hapa katika sampo 13 katika madramu haya 13 waliochukua matenki matenki mawili tenki namba 4 na tenki namba 12 haya yana double refined oil na kwa sababu yana double refined oil wanatakiwa kulipa 25% na hiki ndicho najaribu kuelezea hapa 25% charge kwa sababu ni double refined lakini pia kuna moja, mbili, tatu, nne, tano. E, mane. Kuna madram matenki ma, ma, mane ambayo yana raw material ya soap ya sabuni ambayo ni refined sterile. Hiyo huwa wanalipa 10%. Kwa hiyo yale mchaji 10% kutokana na sheria. Yale mengine yaliyobaki yote crude mulipie 10% kulingana na sheria inavyosema nafikiri tumeelewana kwa hiyo hapa yatakayo lipiwa 25% ni matenki mawili ambayo ni double refined yale mengine yote yaliyobaki 10% charges katika Tanzania liquid storage nafikiri ni yale kule Tanzania liquid storage tanki namba tatu ndio lina refined oil maana yake lina double refined oil yaliyobaki mengine yote kutokana na confirmation za assessment zilizofanyika hapa ni crude kwa hiyo lile la double refines linalipiwa 25% nafikiri ndio hivyo haya ya crude yanalipiwa 10% na nafikiri mnaweza mkaanza mkafanya hivyo leo au kesho wakaanza kulipia na haya mafuta bahati nzuri tume tumepima heavy metal tumepima heavy metal kama magnesium red iron and so on imekuta ziko below the average ambayo inatakiwa kwa hiyo ni fit for human consumption kwa hiyo heavy metals hazimo kwenye mafuta yanafaa kuliwa kwa hiyo process hizo zinaweza zikaanza kufanyika kuna mafuta ya sample za the east coast oil and the fat limited hapa zimegundulika mafuta mengine yote ni refined ni, ni, ni semi refined maana yake ni pam orange ambayo yanachajiwa 10% lakini kuna madram mane ma, mapipa mane matenki mane tenki namba ECB1 ECB2 ECB9 and ECC3 yale yana double refine kwa hiyo yanalipiwa 25% observation hapa kubwa ambayo nimeiona mimi with my little knowledge ukijumlisha madram yote yaliyoko hapa kwa sample zote mlichukua mlichukua sample 43 madram saba matenki saba yote yana content za double refined kwa hiyo yale yanatakiwa yachajiwe 25% ma yaliyobaki mengine yote yanachajiwa 10% according to the ya sheria za za TRA lakini nitoe observation kwa waziri na wizara ya fedha nafikiri katibu mkuu wa wizara ya fedha huko hapa kwenye mafuta hapa haya nimeruhusu yatoke kutokana na hizi condition 
lakini kama kuna kuanda declare au wamezungumza kwamba wamedanganya wamereta double fine alafu wakazungumza wamereta crude wanapigwa ile 25% pamoja na charge nyingine ya kudanganya kwa mjibu wa sheria za TRA zinavyozungumza lakini la pili sasa hivi mpeleke amendment katika bunge hili linaloendelea iwe mtu anaporeta crude oil au semi refined au double refined cooking oil charges zitolewe ni lazima charges zitolewe kwa sababu wafanyabiashara wengine ambao sio waminifu wanasingizia wameleta kurudi na haieleweki wala haingii manani mtu uende Ulaya huko au uende Far East kule ukanunue kurudi kurudi maana yake haijafanyiziwa process hizo zote hakuna mfanyabiashara wa namna hiyo ambaye anaweza akanunua kurudi aje afanye process hapa hii ndio ujanja wanaoutumia wanasema wanaleta kurudi wakati actually ni semi refined oil. Kwa hiyo mchaji kuanzia sasa hivi muanze kubadilisha sheria hii ni ya ovyo. Uwezo ukachaji kurudi 10% ukachaji semi refined nayo 10%. Kwa hiyo kwa sababu hapo na encourage tu alete kurudi, alete semi refined na double refined anachanganya na mix anaweka kwenye madebe anawauzia waraji. Lakini kwa sababu tulifanya mistake hiyo that is our mistake kama government kwa upande mwingine. Lakini sasa ifike mahali tuache. Na ndio maana mafuta haya utapata point of origin. Utapata. Ukienda Indonesia au Malaysia. Ukinunua kurudi kule. Chaji yake ni kubwa mno kwa sababu wana discourage. Wana discourage kununua kurudi kwenda kuiuza mahali. Wanachofanya kuna biashara inafanyika kwenye kwenye bahari kuu kule kwenye high seas na inafanyika na makatuni wengine kwa hiyo wafanyabiashara wa kwetu wanakwenda kununua hizi kwenye meli kwenye hayo mafuta na ndio maana mimi nilitaka hili tuchunguze zaidi kwenye ulaji lakini kwa sababu umeshaona kwamba hayana problem kwenye ulaji hiyo ndio ishu kwa sababu sitaki tumike advantage ya mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani ndugu zetu waislamu na watanzania wengine walishwe chakula ambacho hakifai kwa kutumia sababu ya kwamba mafuta yanahitajika sasa hivi we can't do that na ndio maana nilisema hizi sample zote zisimame tufanye uchunguzi wa kitaalamu tujue kama yana heavy metals yana nini yana impurities za namna gani ili tuone kama yanafaa kuliwa kwa watu mmeshafanya uchunguzi nimeangalia hapa nimeangalia kwenye ripoti zenu na kwa vile wote mlikuwa kwa mfano most ya content zote mmesema ziko below average iod in value iko between 60 to 47% um, ambayo ilita, ingekuwa below 45% ingekuwa haifai kuliwa free fatty acid zote ziko within the range ziko kati ya 5 na 10% iron content ambazo hizi zina contribute kwenye heavy metals copper zinc and the red zote zinaonyesha kwamba heavy metals ziko within the average kwa hiyo hicho ndicho naweza nikasema kwa hiyo waziri na wizara ya fedha haya mafuta yameruhusiwa wakalipe watu hawa wahusika kwenye zile bidhaa walizo wa kwamba ni kurudi na mkakuta ni kurudi ziruhusiwe hata leo walipe hiyo 10% yaende kwa ajili ya kushughulikiwa kwa ajili ya ulaji wa watu. Kwenye zile bidhaa walizosema ni kurudi wakakuta ni double refined. Walipe 25% pamoja na fine ya kudanganya. Na bahati nzuri kwenye double refined ni madram saba. Na ninaomba mnyamaki vizuri TRA na Wizara ya Viwanda na Wizara ya Fedha mnyawekee alama ili kuyatoa hapa lazima walipe 25%. Yale mengine yote watoe. Na zile raw materials za sabuni ambazo ziko nne, madram money. Nayo ni kulipiwa 10% ni raw material. I have no problem. Na kama wamedeclare hivyo.
lakini tumemaliza waziri kuna yale question hapana mashaa lakini mfanye hiyo amendment hatuwezi tukawa tunaibiwa kila siku tunahitaji kujenga viwanda vyetu mkafanye hiyo amendment hakuna wizi tunaofanizwa kama huu sheria zetu haiwezekani kurudi oili ukachaji sawa sawa na semi refined haiwezekani haijawahi kutokea lakini kwa sababu sisi ni, ni watu wa kuibiwa tu tumepitisha hii sheria tangu mwaka 2015 si ndio na inawezekana palifanyika mchezo unaweza ukakuta wabunge walipitisha kitu kingine na kilicholetwa huku kusainiwa kikawa kitu kingine kwa sababu pia palikuwa na mchezo huo kwenye ofisi ya IG wanapitisha kitu kingine kule kinajadiliwa na wabunge kitu kingine alafu kikisharetwa huku kinafanizwa amendment kiujanja ujanja kinachokuja kupitishwa kwenye sheria kinakuwa ni tofauti kabisa na kile kilichopitishwa na wabunge hilo nalo ni possible kwa sababu siamini kama wabunge wanaweza wakapitisha bei ya kurudi ikawa hivyo hivyo na bei ya semi refined kwa sababu nimecheki kwenye sheria iko hivyo nikasema ah basi hamna tatizo lakini na kupongeza mtu wa TRA watu wa TRA na wapongeza wewe unafanya kazi gani TRA kaimu commissioner kaimu ka, commissioner wakupe ukamishina kabisa wa wanani waziri wa fedha kampeni tu huyu kwa sababu amesimamia haki akaresisti kwa ajili ya maslahi mapana ya nchi yetu najua wanamchukia sana wengine wafanya biashara lakini waache wa kuchukie Mungu anakupenda na Watanzania tutaendelea kukupenda kwa hiyo kamconfirm kati mkuu kazungumzeni kazungumze wote mumpe haraka tena wiki hii hii msimchereweshe amesimamia haki yake amesimamia haki ya Watanzania kwa niaba ya Watanzania TBS ndio hapa mkurugenzi kaimu mkurugenzi kasimamieni msimamo wa kazi za serikali msifuji kitu chochote na mimi lazima niwa, niwaeleze ukweli mnapofanya analysis zenu kama umekuta ni crude oil just mention it kwamba this is a crude oil ukikuta free acid is above 5% this is automatically kwamba is a semi refined oil ukikuta is between 0.1 up to 0.25 it is pure that is that is a double refined maana yake the process of neutralization breaching process and the dolarizations have taken place means the free fatty acid now is very low compared to the crude oil mkasimamie hilo tiara hii ninyi kafanya ni kazi hizo na hao wanaotakiwa kufanya amendment i think that everything have been solved is there any problem mr president on our part we will ensure that all the oil comes out of here as soon as those releases come we'll work day and night we'll move the oil we'll move the oil to all our clients to ensure that they've got their oil so they can supply to the nation thank you very much people at customs to clear the goods we we've had cut people at customs every day for the last they're there we want your people now they're there they're there mkamia mkuu dokta nataka sample zozote mtakazo kuwa mnapewa kwenye ofisi ya mkemia mkuu fanyeni kwa utaratibu kwa kuzingatia maadili ya kazi zenu ukiletewa mkono wa albino sema ni mkono wa albino usiju ukasema huu ni mkono wa kuku au wa mbwa and so on ukiletewa madawa ya kulevya yasije akaletwa madawa ya kulevya alafu kesho yake ukasema huu ni unga wa muhogo nataka ninyi mlio kwenye key elements kwenye key position kwa mfano mkemia mkuu TBS ni lazima mzingatie maadili yenu hicho ndicho tunachohitaji Tanzania hii ni yetu ni lazima tuzingatie maslahi ya Watanzania maskini tunaowaongoza na TRA kasimamieni hivyo profesa endeni mkasimamie hizo hawa mliofanya analysis mimi nawashukuru sana nawashukuru mmesimama kidete mmeongozwa na profesa na madokta ijiwa ngapi na watu wa TBA TB, eh, na ne, TB, TBS wote mliofanya hiyo kazi mimi nawapongeza kasimamieni hivyo uzalendo kwanza Tanzania kwanza na kwa vyombo vya dola vilivyohusika kwa sababu kila sample zilikuwa zinachukuliwa with the good observations Tumefikia hapa nafikiri is a good decision kwa ajili ya kuendelea mpya. Na wananchi wasidanganywe na unajua wafanyabiashara pia wanatumiaga nafasi ya, ya wakati.
paralyze na kuzungumza yeye hey, hatuhitaji hivi na ndio maana mlikuwa mnaona kwenye vyombo vya habari wanatafutwa watu wanasema mafuta yamepanda hata yangepanda mara moja ni lazima tuzingatie maslahi ya Watanzania wote zile zilikuwa mbinu zao za ku draw attention ili kusudi lazima mafuta ya uruhusu kwanza nataka kuwaeleza Watanzania kuwa ashua mwaka huu production ya pamba yuko juu sana kuna tonnage and tonnage tunatani ngapi hizo ni za marobota si ndio sasa za mbegu ni, mara, ni zaidi ya hapo kwa hiyo mafuta yanaweza yakatengenezwa kwa kutumia process hizo za neutralization hata kama tungetumia solvent extraction method tungepata mafuta mengi tu lakini tuna arizeti tuna mchikichi and so on ni lazima tu maintain viwanda vya hapa lakini nawapongeza nafikiri tunaenda kwenye direction nzuri lakini the charges ni lazima tukaisimamie kule bungeni waziri nendeni mkalisimamie hili ili crude oil sichajiwe bei ya juu ili watu wao wanaanzisha viwanda hapa watu wetu wapate employment na serikali ita collect hiyo ndiyo njia pekee ya kujenga uchumi wa nchi yetu lakini ninashukuru hili lime nafikiri there's no any other problem no we will do everything ourselves to work together with the government and with the revenue authorities as a close relationship all the time na mtazamaji wa TBC hayo ndio matangazo ya moja kwa moja kutoka hapa bandarini jijini Dar es Salaam na kikubwa ni ziara ya kushtukiza ya Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na uh, mtazamaji wa TBC hayo ndio ziara kushtukiza ambayo Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. John Pombe Magufuli ameifanya leo katika bandari hii ya jiji la Dar es Salaam na kukagua eneo ambalo uh, kuna matanki ya kuhifadhia mafuta. Bila shaka unaweza kufuatilia kwa undani na kuweza kusikia maelekezo ambayo yametolewa na Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Bado kuna masuala kadha wa kadha hapa yanaendelea. Pengine tusikilize. Western Africa, uh, West Africa. Um, and we would like to work with the government to find a way of um, a win-win situation between the government, the farmers, and also all the uh, the business industries. We would like that meeting with you to give our proposals, and we're willing to do it. Uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Gabriel is here. Okay. He's responsible for the Minister of Industries, Industries, Industries and Industries. 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 So just met him. No and the minister is also here everything is there and so everything will go in the and, we've got, and we're building our rice plants as well in Morogoro so please can you come and visit to buy we just need the food in Tanzania we we'll make the we we'll make rice bran oil here as well thank you mtazamaji yo yo te mwenye swali hata wafanyakazi wa hapa nenyu ulizeni mimi simlinipigia kura bana au <laughs> na mtazamaji wa TBC hayo ni matangazo ya moja kwa moja ambayo yamekujia kutoka hapa bandari ya Dar es Salaam ambapo Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. John Pombe Magufuli amefanya ziara ya kushtukiza hususan katika eneo ambalo kuna matanki ya kuhifadhia mafuta na Rais ameeleza bayana hapa kwamba hakuna tatizo la mafuta kama inavyoelezwa na mafuta yaliyoko hapa yanatosha na punde tu mara baada taratibu kuweza kukamilika mafuta haya yataweza kuingizwa sokoni kumbuka basi matangazo haya yanakuja moja kwa moja kutoka hapa TBC 1 nami ni Emmanuel Bohohela nikishirikiana na Jafari Hanu kukuletea matangazo haya ya moja kwa moja
Naam sasa rais anakwenda kuzungumza na baadhi ya wafanyakazi wa bandarini hapa ambao wamekusanyika katika eneo hili. Uh, pengine kuna mambo mawili matatu ambayo rais angependa kuzungumza nao. Pengine em, em tusikilize kile ambacho rais anazungumza na na wafanyakazi hawa. Mimi hapa nipi? Naitwa Mikidadi Abubakari. Nipo Alex hapo. Tunafanya kazi hapo mheshimiwa. Na fly sana leo kukuona. Ni wasije kukuona. Naomba nikupe mkono mara ya pili. Eh mkuu. Mwingine aongee. Mimi nimaliza mkopo. Haya mkono wa mkono waweze kumshika mkono na ndicho ambacho kinafanyika hapa hivi sasa na kwa hiyo sasa mtazamaji ndo tuweza kuhitimisha matangazo haya ya moja kwa moja kutoka hapa bandari ya Dar es Salaam asante sana kwa kuwa nasi hadi wakati mwingine kwaheri